Okay, this is a little multi-sim of uh, taking a look at a series parallel circuit. And what we're trying to do is find the uh, total resistance for the parts. And we say between points A and B, it's just between the top rung and the bottom rung. <clears throat> and then what's the total current when we have 6 volts applied between those two points? Now, when you look at this circuit up here, it's kind of difficult to find what's in series and what's in parallel. And a good way to do things is to um, maybe take a highlighter and just highlight all the points that are connected together. And that would be these on the bottom and then these points on the top. So if we kind of redraw it so it looks like this, so we've got the 10K and then we've got the 2.7 is actually tied to the same points that the 10K is. And then that's actually tied to the same points as the bottom half of both 4.7s. And then the 3.3 uh, is tied to the same top rung, but then it's also tied to both of these. So when you do it this way, it becomes pretty much clearer, and then you need to know what you have to do. So if we back out a little bit and then resume in a different way, what we've got is 10K in parallel with 2.7, in parallel with the 3.3, and then these two become 2.53. So we've just got that in parallel with that in parallel with that, which works out to 1544 ohms. And if we run that through 6 volts, 1544, we get 3.88 milliamps. So let's see if our multi-SIM can confirm that. Now, <clears throat> for this multi-SIM, we have it drawn out the exact same way as uh, what we've got um, in the original thing. It's not all the, uh, you know, how we made it nice looking. And right here what we've got is we've got a meter, and we've got it set up for ohms. Now we could have it for volts or amps, but we're going to put it on ohms. And if we run the simulation, that will tell us that it's 1.545 kilo ohms, which is basically what we got in the paper version. Now, if we want to find out what it's going to be if we um, put 6 volts across that, what we have to do is we have to go to our place, and, um, and you can never do this while the thing is running, so you stop it, then go to place, want components, and we're going to start out, we want a source, we want DC power, so we want that, and we say we want 6 volts. So we're done there. We need to change that from 12 to 6. And just connect it up. And connect that side of it. And now what we're going to do, well, we've got to move this guy down a little bit. <clears throat> we're going to grab another meter and we'll drag him over. Root him a little bit. And now what we want to do, we're going to flip him because it flipped the wrong way. I'm going to flip him because once again we want to make sure that um, the positive terminal is connected to the positive side because we're going to make this an ammeter and we connect them in the circuit, we have to get rid of that link since it has to run all the way through it. And now we just make sure that we're on amperage. And we'll put him over here, I guess, and we'll run the circuit. And we get 3.884 milliamps. Now if we go back to what we originally had, we said it's 3.88, and we also said it was 15 44. So once again, the multi-SIM does confirm what we did in the uh, series to parallel. So again, you know, it's just a verification tool, but it lets you know that you're doing the, pro you know, the problems correctly. And that's the end of this demonstration.